So driving back from the nearest shopping temple, right? <laughs> shopping temples, which is what we've created in the, in the world, consumerism. I had this feeling, I've had it before, and it's a chapter in the book, Listening to the Sun or Awakening Souls, hurrying, we are hurrying to our deaths. We're hurrying, we're rushing, we're consuming, we're pushing, we're running, we're hurrying to our deaths. And I could just feel all this rushing to get somewhere. Now you've heard this in various ways before. But we really are consuming ourselves. We're consuming ourselves and ourselves by this sort of fire that burns. It's like a fire across a prairie that absorbs and consumes the grass. Which is a good thing in nature, actually, because it rekindles the real grass growth and all that. But for us, this fire of consuming ourselves as we drive our car, stand our over an overpass, on an overpass, and watch those thousands of cars at between 6 and 7.30 in the morning or between 4.30 and 6 in the evening, rushing to go somewhere. And feel it. Feel it from your heart and your solar plexus. Where are we rushing to? We're rushing to our deaths because we're consuming ourselves. Literally consuming the packet of divine life force that we were given, issued at birth. We're dying the whole time. We're mortal, mort, death. So this always wanting to get somewhere, you know, there's this sort of stress, adrenal, even if it's subtle, you know, like you don't notice background noises until they're gone, you know. You don't notice the background traffic. I remember my grandmother came to visit us in the city when I was a little boy, and she just said, I cannot sleep for all that background traffic noise. And I was like, what are you talking about? It was just a background noise. So we have this background noise in us, always needing to get somewhere, urgency of I got to go shopping and get this and get dinner ready, or I got to get these things done. And it's literally a consumption, it consumes our life force. We're hurrying to our deaths. Because it's only when you stop, and wherever you are, the only gateway home is to stop going outward into this being consumed, having to do something. I'm rush, 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 stress, you know, obvious stress. But even that thing of I have to create, I have to work, all this do, 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 doingness, right? We'll go the way of the doo-doo bird, the dodo bird, if we don't stop doing this, we already are. So I could just feel how it's actually this nexus this cross, you know, across our heart in a sense, but we are the gateway, the X, the cross. We are the crossing of the eternal that doesn't age forever and ever, amen. I am that I am, so it is. The eternal energy of Source God. We literally are that, but it's sitting inside each of our chakras or in our spinal column. And the only way back home, eventually, you can run, 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 hurry, 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 do, 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 your whole life, your whole existence, not just on Earth, other planets, you know. There's huge technologically advanced planets that are created all kinds of civilizations, you know. So all that doingness. Now, you can have God activity to do itself through you. Not my will, but thy will. Let it be done through me. It's sort of like effortless watching the action occur through us. You can do that. That's different than this hurrying to get stuff done. So we're hurrying to our deaths. We're rushing headlong towards our deaths. And it has to be this way. Because until we stop, 
for the internal eternal, the internal eternal, the eternal internal. That's the Stargate camera shutter opening into the eternal I amness. So there's nowhere to go. I can be at Costco, which is where I was coming from, right? One of the temples of consumerism. Nothing wrong with stuff. But when it's this doingness, I have to buy 500 rolls of toilet paper and this and that and consume and finally one day I'll relax and be happy. It just never comes. So there's a stopping and finally, you have to be with yourself because the eternal is internal to us. The kingdom of heaven is within us. We are carrying the eternal fountain of youth, El Dorado, source of all inside us. Literally, in spiritual physics, at the center of each chakra, there's a no time space point. There's a zero point that pours and effulges eternal essence and the sun is the closest thing to it you know it's a eternal billion year boiling soup of source energy well imagine a spiritual sun that has no consumption whatsoever even our sun will burn out after I don't know five billion years but our internal suns are eternal energy so we're hurrying to our all our civilization running buying getting married kids dying right born Schooling, you know, get married. This is push, 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 push all the time. Hurrying to our deaths. So eventually we have to stop. I teach something I call one full divine breath, which you can do anywhere, anytime, on the bus, on the subway, out and about, with your friends, with your partners. The internal, eternal, one divine breath that reconnects us. My point here is, there comes a time when we end up back where we started, with ourselves, internal. And we quit doing these temporary rushing towards our deaths. We're born, we live 85 years, or 100 years, or 50,000 years, doesn't matter, it's a blink. In the eternal, whether you live a lifetime of 110 years, nowadays that's a huge accomplishment, or 50,000 years, like Toth, the Egyptian master, Hermes, Trismegistus, Toth, the Atlantean, you know, in the Bible there's the tail end of that stuff, big deal, Methuselah lives a thousand years, big deal, that's nothing compared to the internal eternal that actually creates space-time, which you are a carrier of. You are a carrier of the God virus. You carry the God, we all do. We are carriers of the God virus inside us. It will bring us back to that internal, eternal. So quit hurrying to your death, because that's guaranteed. You can rush, 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 push, 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 and you will suck the energy out of your body, create massive health problems, cancer, whatever. Alzheimer's, you know, this, that, and the other, MS, multiple sclerosis, uh, strange diseases, chronic fatigue, all that stuff will get created because you're sucking the life force out of your system by squeezing your adrenal glands and pushing yourself to do stuff. What a waste. It kind of sucks after a while, right? hurrying to your death another lifetime. So there comes a time when I stop. I stop. And I breathe and I start to feel the internal, eternal again. So that's what I recommend. All right, check out the books. And um, check out the alchemy energy process. It's a great process for undoing these automatic pushing mechanisms. The inner body awakening will help you feel this inner, eternal, ageless body that we all have inside us. And the heart energy will give you some conscious methods, tools to feel this heart field that we all have forgotten how to 
connect with consciously around us. All right, thank you.